no matter what your gender or sexuality or any of that stuff is. It's about what you make of life and it's about what's inside of you. Hey ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate, I don't know, um, women with Sport Illustrated. I think they're gonna show us a few women today. <laughs> First thing anyone notices about someone is going to have something to do with their physical appearance. It's inevitable. You can't get around that. But I wish everyone noticed my aura because it's, I have a rainbow aura and it's special. My eye! Hi, I'm Megan Fox and I am shooting the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit 2023. I am an actor most of the time. Shooting Sports Illustrated Swimsuit is definitely a lot of pressure. She is looking great, beautiful woman. A lot of people say she's even beautiful in real life the way she is looking on the screen. So that would be amazing. Sadly, she does drink blood. <laughs> it's just a few drops, but yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes only. <laughs> he's much more haphazard and hectic and chaotic where he's willing to just like cut his chest open with broken glass and be like, take my soul. Let me bleed on you. <laughs> it doesn't not happen. Let me tell you. Why would what you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? So, okay, that's enough of me. Because I don't need a woman to be like, I let me let that drop on you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Usually I'm motivated by pay. But I, this time I was motivated by showing people that a woman my age can still look good, feel good, be good, blah, blah, blah. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm shooting in the Dominican Republic in this beautiful place for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. So far, so good. Not too stressful. Getting dressed in 10 different bathing suit outfits can be a little exhausting. You know, I'd rather just put on one thing in the morning and wear it all day long and even out to dinner. So cute. No, you're so cute, Martha Stewart. You're 81 years old and you look good. But hey, who knows, who knows, but it's a blessing. Strong, independent woman. And I think also a mother. Woo! You did great. You ate healthy. You took care of your body. Next one. What's up? I'm Kim Petrus and I'm shooting for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. Woo! -ah. This right here is Kim Petrus a biological male and a Ku Klux Trans member who is gracing the cover of Sports Illustrated. So let me get this straight. First, we have Martha Stewart's geriatric <laughs> cover. Now this dude, I miss the days where you'd open up the magazine and maybe see some sand on some butt cheeks. Now when you open it up, you're gonna see some sand on a ball. Oh my God, winning a Grammy was so unexpected. So just kind of insane life moment. I, I don't think, anything could have prepared me and I don't think I'll ever really have that feeling again. It was completely incredible. I'm so grateful to Sam for wanting me to uh, give a speech and kind of pushing me to do it because I was so scared and I was like, Sam was like, if we win, I, I, want, I want you to do it because kind of historical moment. So let me just stop it right there because of all the ladies that have released something, she is the only one that has a video of four minutes. I think it's definitely a scary time to be transgender in America, but there's also so much more representation than there's ever been. And there's so many things on, on the bright side. I do feel a pressure sometimes to represent the trans community with everything I do because I feel very blessed that I am at this point where I have all these amazing opportunities that I've worked really hard for and feel so happy when I hear from trans people in general that they're inspired by me. I think what you do is the most important thing, not, not what your gender is and all of that. And I always try to remember that, you know, everything I do is definitely not about being being transgender it's a part of me but there's so many other parts of me and I think that's really important for me to show to people you know no matter what your gender or sexuality or any of that stuff is it's about what you make up life and it's about what's inside of you so I hope that can be inspiring to people um, yeah so this is now the new normal I'm like I can understand that certain people want to feel like a woman or they want to be a woman. But when I ask you what is a woman, you're like, well, whatever the person identifies as a woman. I'm like, anybody can think that an ice cream is a chicken. Why do I always want to eat chicken if everything is an ice cream? So officially I can eat everything, but you're still pushing it because it's so important to you. That ideology won. What do you mean they won? 
um, you see they have commercials, you see they have um, banisters. That's um, when you see that, even as a human being, for some people, they get our sympathy. They're, they're people, they're, 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 they're small, they're a small army fighting a big army. Sometimes little armies get sympathy from people that were a part of this big army. Or maybe some people in this army are siblings from somebody in this big army. Or the, or the leader of the army has his siblings in this army. And I think he's right. It's all about a sympathy battle and I don't mind that sympathy battle. That is not the issue. I'm not going to advocate for these things and just because it's a gender that doesn't mean I don't have a right to say it. It's not that my kid can't be feminine or masculine, but I don't need you to tell me, hey, I think your daughter is masculine or your son is feminine, so we need to explore that with him. I'm like, no. Does she look beautiful? She looks a little thick. Do I mind? I don't freaking care. I don't watch, I don't read those books. But I'm surprised though that there are so many books that people are paying that made them famous with time only for you to come suddenly, yo, you need to represent this person in the most positive way and you better give her more movement than all the other women that can have a baby. And if you want to say women are not being erased, are you sure? Did you see the definition of Cambridge? about what is a woman? An adult who lives and identifies as female though they may have been said to have different sex at birth. So when those definitions are being erased, right, it seems to benefit me to, hey, when people arrest me or whatever, I'll just say I'm a woman. If I wanna lend some money in a feminist country, I can just be a woman. It is that easy. And you cannot look at my history to be, hey, well, um, we're going to need to look at your Facebook to be sure. I feel very attacked. No, you're not allowed to do that. That's a right of discrimination. If I go to prison, I'm going to a woman's prison. Trust me, I have the voice. <laughs> like, share the usual, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.